Oh, hi there. I was just listening to somebody scream. That person screaming? Me. Why was I listening to myself scream? Anyway, I'm going to show you how to scream. It's actually very simple. Number one, grudge your baby noise. The first step to learning how to scream is to make the noise that you heard in the grudge. If you don't know what that is, here's what it sounds like. You can do this by slowly vibrating your vocal cords. If you can't do this, make a baby crying noise. The noise we're trying to get is actually called a vocal fry. In modern speech, this is what it sounds like. Like, oh my god, I can't believe you've done this. And if you're having problems with this, just keep at it. Eventually, you're going to get that vocal fry, that, uh, uh, that sort of thing. You know, if you just kind of practice it a little bit, it'll come to you. Number two, breathing. The second step is to control your breath. What we'll be doing is holding air right around our diaphragm. And if you don't know what, where that is, just imagine that you have a line of muscle between your stomach and lungs that follows the bottom of your ribcage. You don't really have to imagine it because it's actually there. You, you have one. Ideally, you want to hold your breath equally in your stomach and lungs. This allows you to push forcefully with your gut and sustain air with your lungs. When you exhale, practice sounding something like this. <sighs> What you should hear there is, at the very end when I start losing my breath, or start stopping, you'll hear a little bit of vocal fry, that uh, noise at the end. You want to be able to sustain that while you're breathing out. And that gives you a nice texture to push air through. Number three, push. Now that we've got a grasp of how to breathe and what we should sound like, let's combine these three steps. First, take a deep breath. Second, begin by making the grudge noise. Uh, and third, push. Uh, when you push, you use your stomach to control the force of the scream and your lungs to sustain it. A proper scream has a calm, controlled stomach contraction and squeeze. Imagine that you're pooping, but higher up in your body. And that's it. You can scream. From here is just a matter of practice. Here are some tips. Tip number one. Move where the sound reverberates in your face to change the pitch and tone. For example, if you want a lower scream, you're going to resonate from down here. And if you want a higher one, you're going to resonate from your soft palate. Yow! And if you want something to go from low to high, you just move, slowly move it up. Tip number two. Get into it. Don't worry about looking dumb. You mean you're screaming. You already look really dumb doing it. Tip number three. So uh, you're just going to apply some paint to your face. Um, I've got some black. It's 98 cents from Walmart. And some white right here. And uh, you're just going to put it on your face. And there's a dog. It's chewing something up. So when you apply this stuff, um, think of it like the cremated remains of your enemies. Um, just apply it all over your face, um, like you're doing some sort of ritualistic murder. Um, you know, it, it really doesn't, it's not very hard to do. You just slather it on your face. Don't worry about getting it in your eyes. If you close your eyes, it should be okay. Yeah, don't worry about getting it in your hair. Or if you have a beard, get it in your beard. It'll wash out, um, just like the ashes of your enemies. And just keep on putting on, you know. It, it's okay. Don't be afraid of it. Um, think, of like, think of it like Bob Ross. You, you can't really make a, a mistake. They're all little happy little mistakes. And uh, here I've got the... Uh, got some black. Um... What you do with this is you uh, you put it on your face and uh, you kind of smother it around. Um, so think of it like the coagulated blood of your enemies uh, you're after you've made, like I say, a blood sausage. Um, and just 
put it on your face, kind of wherever you want. Uh, I'm kind of going for this look right here. I think this is a very attractive look for a guy. I hope this video has helped you on your path to becoming a scrubby master. And if you have any questions, just use Google. All right, so we'll try this again.